Okay, guys, here we are with Experts Glowfall. We're getting a baseline on the hardware using the stock air cooling before we go to liquid cooling so we can see the improvement. Uh, we're going to be running a stress test here with OCCT, which is pretty rigorous, and it's going to uh, burn for an hour. So this will just be a few minutes to show you what's going on with the temperatures. Let me zoom in there so you can see the temperatures real good because that's the DLK. And we're off and running. Okay, finally, here we go. 100% CPU usage at last. We do see an immediate jump in the old temps there, headed towards 70, I would imagine. We've got an ambient temperature of 27.5 degrees Celsius. And there you have it, 70 C. 71, 72, 73, 74. Yeah, I couldn't even do this uh, with an air cooler with my 920 is a uh, earlier revision and uh, much much hotter about 15 degrees Celsius hotter I would have already been throttling by this point this is still a workable temperature for uh, an i7 definitely a good stress test of it get it up to 75, Let's see if it'll just stay there. Looks to me like it is. Just to show you exactly what we have cooling the board, so there's no questions what's up. Stock Intel heatsink. Got a 140 millimeter fan blowing across the whole motherboard just to give it a little bit of cooling. And I would be willing to say that it has stabilized itself at 75 degrees. Seventy two, seventy three, seventy six, seventy five. Well, I'm pretty impressed by that D zero revision and uh, also by the efficiency of the stock Intel cooler. As ugly as it is, it is getting the job done. We're running at a CPU frequency two seven eight six point zero. So it is in turbo mode, 4.5% uh, overclock. I'm not going to be overclocking the rig air cooled. It just doesn't make sense. As you can see, we're already up at the threshold of safe temperatures. And so you just pump a bunch more voltage through it, and it's just going to get uh, too hot for the air, for the air cooler. So we'll hold up on that.